The herbicide atrazine, sprayed by the tens of millions of pounds on U.S. corn each year, is quietly disrupting hormones and contaminating food and water. In the heartland of America, farmers still apply roughly 70 million pounds of atrazine annually, primarily on cornfields. This chemical, banned in over 40 countries, remains legal in the U.S. and has been linked to endocrine disruption, water pollution, and elevated cancer risks. In the U.S., Midwest, and other high-intensity farming regions, you'll find atrazine residues in soil, runoff into rivers and traces in produce, and signs of its damage show up in vulnerable populations like children, the elderly, and agricultural workers. Studies show that living in areas with heavy agricultural chemical use increases cancer incidence rates by as much as smoking. For children, exposure to hormone-disrupting herbicides may trigger developmental problems. For older adults and farm workers, the risk of prostate cancer, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and other cancers goes up. What can you do to protect yourself and your family? First, recognize the signs. Fruit and veg grown in treated soils may carry more than just nutrients. Trace chemicals like atrazine can remain in the soil and water years beyond the spray day. Choose produce labeled organic or grown with low chemical methods. Rinse and peel when possible. Favor crops known for lower pesticide residue. Seek water sources free of agricultural runoff. Support policies to phase out or strictly limit endocrine disrupting herbicides. Encourage farmers to adopt cover crops, crop rotation, and mechanical weed control instead of heavy chemical use. If we act now, we can help keep our children, seniors, and farming communities safer, protect the environment from chemical accumulation, and shift toward truly clean agriculture. If you found this helpful, please like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Food Truth TV for the latest every day.